Hello friends, I am Sri Rupa, a tutor from Y-Axis Coaching. Welcome to my PT listening tip of the day. Today, we are going to discuss about time management. Yes, when it comes to PT listening, managing time well is very important because listening has got the maximum number of tasks. There are eight types of tasks that you have to take care of. So let me give you a complete idea regarding the PT listening test as also time management. So here we go. When it comes to PT listening, we have eight task types, as I told you, as also the listening test is divided into two sections. Section one is comprised of a task type, which is known as summarize the spoken text followed by section two, which has got seven types of task. Okay, unless and until we manage our time well, the overall time for the listening test is 45 to 57 minutes. And if we do not manage our time well, no matter how good we are in comprehending the pronunciation of the native speaker, we will get a low score if we do not give a lot of time to our write from dictation that is the last task type that we have in the pt listening test and it has got the maximum weightage okay so let me guide you with the same so first and foremost as i told you summarize the spoken text so for summarize the spoken text, you will listen to an audio, which would be for uh, two to three minutes, depending upon the content of the audio. After that, you have to write a summary. So a condensed version of what you have listened to. How many questions? Around two to three such questions. And the best part is that this task type is individually timed. So you have 10 minutes for summarize the spoken text, okay? Since it is individually timed, you will give 10 minutes completely to each of the questions that you have for summarize the spoken text and accordingly 20 to 30 minutes for your summarize the spoken text. Once you're done with that, you're done with section one of the listening test. After that, you have section two waiting for you. And when it comes to section two, the task types are not individually timed. Overall, the timer is running down. Hence, managing time is crucial. So section two of the test has got one, two, three, four, five, six, and I would say seven, seven types of tasks, okay? The last one is write from dictation, okay? So we have seven types of tasks, okay? Now, first and foremost, multiple choice question multiple answer so what happens you listen to the audio for one and a half to two minutes after that you have to solve the question question having five to six answer choices when you're listening to the audio you may take notes once you are done with listening to the audio my advice would be do not spend more than 25 to 30 seconds in order to pick the correct answer and while going through the answer choices please follow the rule of process of elimination so 25 to 30 seconds for multiple choice question multiple answer once the audio finishes you'd be getting around two to three of mcqs multiple answer once done with that the next task type that you have is known as fill in the blanks. Now, again, this particular task type has got a lot of weightage. It contributes to your listening score as also writing score. So what happens? You listen to the audio and you have the transcript of what you're listening to. Just that there it is a gapped text. So while you are listening, you have to align the transcript to what you're listening extract the missing word and you have to write the words in the blank spaces provided 
Now, some test takers are comfortable taking notes while they're listening to the transcript. Some test takers prefer typing the words straight away. Now, whatever suits you, that's your strategy, and you will definitely practice a lot to see what works best for you. But my advice would be once you're done with listening to the track, do not give more than 25 to 30 seconds in order to type those six to seven words. Okay, so at least two such questions would be there, and six to seven words you need to type for each and every question. So remember, not more than 25 to 30 seconds in order to type the words. Okay, once done with that, next is highlight correct summary. That's the next question type that we have, or rather, I would say task type. Now, highlight correct summary again means you would be listening to an audio with and depending upon the content of the track, the track might be played for two to three minutes for sure. Once done with that, you have to choose the correct summary, right? So the examination PT will provide you with three to four summaries and you have to choose the correct summary that is the condensed version of what you have been listening to. Now, it does not just have one mark. It definitely has got more than one mark because this particular task type contributes to your reading score as also listening score. So follow the process of elimination. Quickly skim through the answer choices that you have and pick the correct summary, which is correct according to you because that is a condensed version of what you have listened to and it must have the main idea as also the supporting idea. And how many seconds should you take in order to choose the correct answer? I would say not more than one minute or 60 seconds after the audio finishes. So here we go. I would say up to one minute after the audio finishes. So you have, you will get at least three to four such questions when it comes to your task type, highlight correct summary. Once done with highlight correct summary, the next task type that you have to take care of is known as multiple choice question, single answer. So multiple choice question, single answer, also just like your multiple choice question, multiple answer, you have to listen to an audio. The length of the track would be around one for one or 1 1.5 minutes. Once you're done with listening to the track, you have to choose the correct answer. The question along with four answer choices, you have to flip through the answer choices, follow the process of elimination and choose the correct answer. Only one answer is correct. So you have to be down to one. And in order to choose the correct answer, you have to give some time. Now, how many seconds can I give? One minute, 1.5 minutes, two minutes? Not necessarily, not at all, please. Because this particular question type does not have too much of uh, weightage. So I would say not more than 20 seconds once you are done with listening to the track. So listen to it, done with it, quickly skim to the answer choices, follow the process of elimination, pick one, click next. And for this, you should not take more than 20 seconds. You expect to get at least two to three such multiple choice questions, single answer. Done with it, the next one that you have is known as select missing words. So what do you need to do over here? Again, you listen to an audio, but in this case, it is uh, incomplete. You listen to a beep tone, and after that, you have to go through the answer choices. Around three to four options would be there, and you have to choose which of these answer choices mark the end of the uh, track. So you have to choose the correct answer choice. And uh, always remember, this particular task type definitely tests how good are you when it comes to active listening? Can you predict the end of the track? So what would you have to mark? You have to complete the uh, content of the track, right? 
Now, I would say there's no point in giving too much of time to that um, because we don't remember generally what we have listened to. So yeah, you are done with it. You have listened to it for one or 1.5 minutes, generally 60 to 90 seconds. That would be the length of the track. After that, quickly skim through the options that you have. Do not give more than five seconds after the audio finishes. Okay. Remember, this particular task type does not does not have that much weightage when it comes to scores. Okay. Then we have highlight incorrect words. Okay. Now for this task type, we need to be a little bit careful because we have negative marking. Uh, the task type, the level of difficulty is pretty uh, less. You listen to the track and the transcript is right there in front of yourself on the screen just that few words would be changed so as you are listening to the track you have to align the transcript to what you're listening to as soon as you see that there is a mismatch click on that word because that is an incorrect word okay so you are solving as you're listening to the track you don't need to give some extra time to that so ideally for this task type you should not give any extra time once you're done with listening to the track so solve while you listen done with that click next and that will take you to the next question so highlight incorrect words around two to three questions would be there for sure be very careful do not choose a correct word to be incorrect then we lose one mark okay once you are done with these six task types when it comes to section two then you are taken to the seventh task type in section two and that is us right from dictation and this particular task type has got a lot of weightage so listen to a sentence and you type the sentence so it contributes to your listening module as also the writing score ideally you should type the sentence verbatim as in whatever you have listened to you have to type it exactly in the same way and remember the sentence has to start with a capital letter and with full stop be careful regarding spellings if the word is correct but the spelling is wrong we lose score okay and each and every word has got one mark so three to four questions would be there for sure when it comes to the last task type that is right from dictation so give it your best let us end the pt test with a bang because this is the last task type once you're done with right from dictation you are done with your PT examination okay so that's how you have to manage your time very well a quick recap so summarize the spoken text 10 minutes for that it is individually timed then section 2 has got seven types of tasks right starts with multiple choice question multiple answer once done with listening to the track not more than 25 to 30 seconds to choose the correct answers then we have fill in the blanks once done with listening to the track, not more than 25 to 30 seconds in order to type those six to seven words. Highlight correct summary. Once done with listening to the track, just 60 seconds to choose the correct summary. Multiple choice questions, single answer should not give more than 25 to 30 seconds. Once the audio finishes, select missing words, five seconds, just five seconds once the audio finishes highlight incorrect word you don't need to give any extra time you should solve as you're listening to the track and finally write from dictation have your own strategy listen to the sentence you can take notes then type the sentence and while typing be very careful there should not be any grammatical error there should not be any spelling error if we want to get full marks okay so that's how it goes when it comes to time management prepare well give your best and all the best for your pt examination thank you so much bye bye take care